our next release of Mac OS is Mac OS Mojave. Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So WWDC 2018, the worldwide developer conference from Apple, has ended. They announced some updates to their new version of Mac OS X, Mac OS X Mojave, that some of you might be familiar with. If those new features seem interesting to you, well, you can already get most of them on Linux and elementary OS. So let's take a tour. A new side of Mojave. We call it Dark Mode. The one that got everyone super excited was Dark Mode. Yep, people lost their minds over the ability to turn your app windows dark instead of white. This is not news to us Linux folks, but maybe you didn't know that you could do that. On elementary OS, it's already enabled by default on some apps, while other are just the normal light interface. If you want to switch all programs to a dark mode, it's pretty easy. Just install in elementary tweaks. We have a video about that in our switcher's guide, just click the little annotation up there to see how to do it. When elementary tweaks is installed, just open system settings, go to tweaks, then appearance, and click on prefer dark variant. There you go, any new window you'll open will be in dark mode by default. We decided to add a new feature to Mojave that I think you'll, you'll enjoy. It's called Dynamic Desktop. And when you're using it, your desktop actually subtly changes throughout the day, from morning to afternoon to evening. This one exists on other Linux distros. On the elementary, it doesn't as of now, but there's a program for that. Como Rebi allows you to choose between a large selection of beautiful desktop backgrounds, some of which are animated with a day and night cycle. To install Como Rebi, just go to their website here, I'll provide the link in the description below, download the .dev package and install it. Just know that it will replace your normal elementary desktop wallpaper and add icons to your desktop by default. To change the wallpaper or the preferences, just right click on the wallpaper and select preferences and tweak it to your liking. You can just drag and drop the clock where you want it to be if you want to keep it. I haven't found a way to remove it, but I'm sure I just missed it. And so now in Mojave, we have a really great solution and we call it Desktop Stacks. Okay, so this feature does not exist on elementary OS because you don't get any desktop icons on this OS. I prefer it that way, but some don't. In my opinion, creating stacks of images, audio or documents in your desktop is just duplicating the folder structure you already have in your home folder, so why would you want that? If you do, however, want icons on your desktop, there's a desktop folder app in the App Center that allows you to put some files and folders and shortcuts in a panel on your desktop. It's no desktop stacks, but it at least allows you to get your desktop icons back if you want them, with some nice customization added. But now we've added an all new view called Gallery View. It has a big preview up top, a set of thumbnails along the bottom, and now the new sidebar in Mojave really helps because it now supports full metadata. This one isn't available in the default file manager in elementary OS. But then again, you've got the Photos app that holds all of your pictures, and you'll get all that metadata here instead of the file manager where it doesn't really belong. If you really want this kind of data, you can always download Dolphin from the App Center, which is KDE's default file manager. It does have the option to display a pane with all that photo metadata, but it might not look as native as a standard elementary OS application. If you enjoy Dolphin, you can set it up as your default file manager app. Just open the system settings, go to Applications, and select Dolphin from the file manager list. So let's take a look here uh, at a web page, and I'm just gonna take a screenshot in the traditional way. I'm gonna screenshot a selection of the page, and I want you to watch what happens in the lower right. I get a thumbnail instantly of that screenshot, and when I double click in, I get an accelerated workflow right into Markup, where I have access to all of my tools. The default elementary OS screenshot tool is already very handy for any kind of screen capture. It allows you to select the whole screen, a single window, or select a specific portion of the screen. You can hide or show the mouse pointer, select the delay before the capture is taken, and even opt to keep it open after the screenshot. All screenshots will be saved in your pictures folder, ready to be edited. Not as convenient as just clicking on a small thumbnail in the bottom right of your screen, but still pretty easy to edit afterwards. We're also bringing 
voice memos to the Mac. You can take those recordings that you make and, for instance, drag them right into GarageBand as the foundation for a song. Want to record your voice? OK, just install Sound Recorder from the App Center. It allows you to record from the default mic, rename clips, choose the output format between AUG, Opus, FLAC, MP3 and Move, and even delete recordings on the fly. All recordings will be saved in a recordings folder on your home folder. It's a very handy app and the only one I use to record my voice for all my videos. So there you go guys. Of course Mac OS X Mojave has a lot of other new features but these seem to have gathered the most attention and they mostly have a solution or equivalent on elementary OS. Of course some of those solutions are not identical or as practical as what Apple announced but still you can pretty much do the exact same thing. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.